Okay, hello everyone. It's, I am from Really Good Nails. I'm going to do the stained glass window. You can't see it because it looks just like a normal nail, but the pictures will show. When you put a light underneath it, you can see right through it. I've got like a... It's an ombre brush, but I chopped the ends off. So it's more of a dabbing tool now. Right, so... I'll leave them on. Ah. Right, if I take a bit of these just basic ones from AliExpress. So they didn't cost a lot, but it's the first time I've had gel paints to play with. So if you all go in a weekend or a week or whenever whatever time we're on now i don't know so if i put that on there instead of a tissue then put that over there oh i'm touching everything with that one Oop, like that off <laughs> so then there's a bit extra if i need it rather than wasting it rid of that because I don't want to mix me colours. I said I had this earlier so and you don't have to use this many it's up to, entirely up to you isn't it really what you want to do. I don't think I need that much red really. There's only got these an eight mil I suppose if you're doing a great big scoop like that. Oh, I've turned the light off. Never mind. I'll put that there then instead. How's that? Right, wipe that off. That's what we got in this one. Oh, nothing yet. Stick that in, get covered in blue paint. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost a baby blue, that, isn't it? I do like that. There we go. Oh, they are fiddly. That's it. There's me on that piece of paper. That's it. It's just the backing off, her, off the nail forms that I used. To create these nails, plain and simple little almonds. Don't you run off? Come on. Oh, bit of a minty green, would you say? Oh, it's a bendy on the um, <coughs> excuse me on my uh, glass palette, but it can't blow away, <coughs> can it? No. So wipe right, that on there. Oh, get another one. Especially when I've got a great big roll of this stuff. And then I shall need the black just to do the outlining. Go on. That's it. Oh. Looks like the pink from Baby's room with that blue and the mint green. Right. Ah, what are you doing? What did you say? Hmm, don't listen to yourself then, will you? Right, put that there just in case I need it. It's quite a nice paint. So, so I can't... Uh, 
knock them on the floor, chuck them about. Let's see, get in there, give yourself. Right, so we've got him. So I'll put that up there out of the way. It's nowhere near the lamp, so they can't be chewed. It. and shut you up you out the way that's it right now we want a bit of a base coat i'll tell you what i use the old base coat because then if i actually did touch one of the colors It's not going to be ruining my main base. I've had a chat with myself, like you do. If I just filled up that and see where it goes, try and keep a some sort of a, a straight line. Right, I'll tidy up with that, I think. Now then, so we want some base. Bit of red to make it slightly transparent. So, if I put some red there, turn it round. I think that's the better side. That's it because you don't want it thick. That's why I put it in there. base coat so it just thins it out just slightly but you don't lose the colour now oh, I like that shape that's quite good right so I've a bit too much on there I think clean me brush in the alcohol because I don't want them mingling okay we'll see how we go and then we'll do a free for all on what's left. Perhaps I should have carried on with the red, shouldn't I? I think I'll do that. Right, so if I match it up with the pink, this side, that goes up there. But do a different pattern. No. Under there, that's it. Keep checking with your light to make sure it is see through, or if it's too thin that you can't see it on there. Don't worry about that black dot. Okay, so if I just put that there, to use up that bit of paint, a bit more, mixing it with the base coat and then picking it up, and I've got some thicker paint if it's not quite Right, so that's the made one of the mistakes I made on my thumb. I mixed the whole lot, and then when I needed just a dark and a patch up, right, that'll do. I'll just cure that. Just five seconds will do to stop it wandering off. Okay, so we clean that off. Right, now then, we want a darker colour, don't we? So purple's a bit close to that. Oh, let's have this green. Let's have the green. Let's have the green. See if you go and mix it as you go along. That's it. You can get it just right. So if it looks slightly opaque, Opaque, transparent. 
on whatever you're mixing it on. Okay, so we can push it down, see that it goes in any old shape. This is why I haven't used the French liner brush because I don't want it perfect. Although a stained glass window looks perfect, especially in the church with all the, the pictures that they do in them. Like the little, there was an air bubble there, so let's just fill it up with that. And put some on there. Right, I think I'll just do a little bit there. Give it a bit more interest. Okay, I think I might just tap that on there actually. It's quite a bit on there. Right, clean it off. This is by no means an expensive brush, so I'm not bothered about all the alcohol it's consuming. Right, so a bit more base coat. Let's go for a bit of purple. That's it. Bring the, the colour in until it looks dark but see through. That's possible. Right then, so we want a bit there. Let's try to do it as it just joins up there. Add a little bit more colour in that. Let's keep it up a bit. So you might have wanted to do so that it's a more uniform but I'm a bit random really. that. I'm only having one because I just wanted it just to add it really. Same as that one. Just added it. Now then we want we've done the pink, we've done a bit of red, we've done some blue. Because I'd rather have the um that's good. How long have you had these bottles? By the way it's not an old old base coat. I've got a great big tub of it. You have a pointy spout and you fill up your bottles. So it isn't even the brand that's on the on the bottles base coat. It's somewhere else. I'll get that off there. Oh, I don't want you curing because I might not want the purple there. Right then. What else have we got? Oh blue. Sorry Mr Blue. I forgot about you. Let's have a base coat with you. That's it. So there's no matching colours up or anything. It's just blobs of colour. Okay, just put your blobs of colour in. Push them together. Just like that. We'll have a bit of blue across there because we'll have it slightly wonky. Okay, right, so that's quite a big patch of blue, I think. Now, I wonder if I can just stick a little bit of red there where that's cured. So it just adds another little shape, just there. That's it. I don't want to go over too much because of not going through. But that does, so that's okay. 
Sorry, I haven't got another camera to show you what I was doing. Just putting it up to my lamp to see what it looks like. A bit missing off that corner there. That's it. That's it. It's a bit wonky, but we'll say that's part of the design, eh? It's random. Let's have a bit more green then. Just put that there. No, no, not green. Let's have a bit of purple. See now purple is my favourite colour. I think we should have a bit more. You're not going to play, are you? I think I've used all my base coat on. But this won't shine through anyway because it's on the nail bed. Nail, the nail is on the nail bed, so it can't show through. Unless you use a torch, I suppose it might do. That's it. Okay, so I'll cure that for 30 seconds. Tidy up a bit because I need some black. So let's get the black out. Oh, I thought we was going on forever then. I'm going up the other way. I'm counting up instead of counting down. So it's only got a couple of seconds to go. There we go. So I'll take the black. Where's my spatula? Oh, I'm wrecking the joint. That's the wrong. I always count the wrong end. Doesn't matter how I pick it up. It's always the wrong end. Right then, I won't need much of this. And bend over. That's it. I won't need much of this black because I'm only going to draw lines. Oop. You're not spider gel. Stop it. I'm silly. Oh, now look, I've got it all over myself. Now there's an idea. Spider gel to play with that one. There we go. Right. Let's tidy up that because I'm bound to cook it. Oh, right there. I've got an extra blob. Well, I'm going to have to go around that one, aren't I? Okay, so where's my bit of paper? So I'll put this on the shiny side of the nail form so it doesn't soak in to the back of it and disappear. That's the mistake I made earlier. That's what I did. I went for my tea in between doing that one and coming back up and decided, yes, this is what I want to do. Right now, I need my Kirsty Meakin brush. So I want uh, no um, base coat in this, but this is such a fine tip. I don't know whether you can see that. It's very fine. Use one of her other brushes to do that one. I think it may have looked a bit too globby on my thumb. So the contrast was a bit, I don't know, childish, shall we say? Stroke it through so that it just covers all sides of the brush. So you can always go over it again. I'd rather just mark it out, cure that, and make it a bit deeper. But the more pressure you put on the brush, the thicker the line is going to be. Come on, release it. I'm 
Ganze. I'm assuming this has got a tacky layer, yeah. I didn't know, I hadn't looked. That's it. Bring it in. A bit darker. Like that. Like that, so uh, give it a quick zap. Five seconds will do. Just to stop me smudging it. So then we come up there. Like that. I'll press too hard then. But never mind. Right, a bit of green that we put there. I think this is getting a bit too much colour in it. Come on, get up. That's it. A bit too much colour. It's clogging it up a bit. Right, we've got some pink there. Come on, pick it up. Yes, I know you've probably got a bit of alcohol in you. What do it all? Right, that's it. Because I don't want to use the great big, the great big brush. I just want to keep control over my lines. Not that it really matters, but. I don't know. I just want to keep them all roughly the same size and consistency, if you like. That's it. Oh, that went up there. Oh, never mind. Covered it up now, and I so and then bring it down. Okay, so I can bit of a jigsaw, don't I? Right, I'll cure that for thirty. Okay, that's done. Now this time, I am going to. Wipe the inhibition layer off because I just want to see if now there's a few bubbles there, so I'll just get rid of the base coat, go through the, the blue. See, I don't even really see it on the camera, but I don't want a thick layer. I'm using the other Kirsten making brush. No affiliation at all, I just like her brushes. Because I sort of scrubbed it in with that, I just yeah. um, what I want to do is because I've outlined it in the thicker. Now I'm going to bring it in with this base coat because I don't want it to be thick. OK. 
okay as the light won't come through it so for now I'll bring it because that bit's all right because that's on the nail bed so I'll just use the base coat now just to bring it through Just gently fiddle it so you don't cause more bubbles. Checking the light again, make sure the light can come through. Yep. Right. Okay. Who else wants a little bit? What about a bit of pink? That's gone. Still got some base coat with that one, look. That's it. And then we've got a bit there. Okay. So I've got a little love out there, look. I bet you couldn't do that if I wanted to. And when you can see it. I love it. <laughs> I'll leave it like that. It was the design, wasn't it? Oh yes, definitely. So we don't have to do the sides because it's already up the base coat in it, so and there's no bubbles in this one so I don't have to fill them in. That's it. Right. Check. Very good. Now it's just the green. Get rid of that pink. Just that green because the purple is okay. So it's... Do you know what? I think that's okay. That'll be fine. <laughs> that little heart. Look at that. Where have you gone? You see that little heart there, where I went over it. Right, put that in there for 30 seconds. Right. Now, oh. you scuffed. Oh my goodness. No. You clumsy sausage. that's it just repair I think I prefer those lines to those they're a bit clumsy so is that blue now you've chopped it off you silly thing right let's just take thin black Okay, so just touch up around there where that was scuffed. It's obviously part of the design, isn't it? Oh yes, that's too much. I don't want a blob. I just want a little tiny bit because that, that's it. Hmm. I want the deep colour. But I don't want the big, thick, clumsy lines. That's better. And that's it. Let's have a bit more face gel on that. That went down there and up there. That's better. Right. I went over because of the scuffing. Get that bit of blue off there. Okay. that up 
there. Don't press hard, press gently. That's for me. That's better. There we go. Let's pick up the red. That's it. A little bit more base coat. Going a bit too thick. Come round. That's it. Sort of makes it a bit crisp, doesn't it? Oh yes. And then up to the light. Yep, I think that works okay. Right. Get that black off before it touches any of the other colours. Right, just roll your brush a bit. Just gently. That's it. Put it on your your stand. Look at that. Numerous drill bit and drill and pieces I've had. Always get one of them. I'm going to do a definite thirty. I always get one of them. What can I use them for? Rest your brushes. And then they can't run off. Roll off. Whatever. And then make sure you keep the, the ends away from the lamp. Obviously. You're not all stupid like I can be. Mm. Fortunately. I haven't done it to my new ones. I'm quite happy with that. So, it's gentle white because of the inhibition layer does come off. There we go. Obviously, you put the top coat on. So, what I'm going to do is put a base coat on. Oh, I've got different colour. Ah, oh, be alright. Yeah, no, use this one up. Use this one up. Oh, chuck it on the floor. Why not? Ew, it's all over my hands now. Oh, I have a clumsy clot. All I can say is I'm glad to have a supervisor when I'm out on my wheelchair. That's all I can say. And then I can... make a mess of things especially if I'm being clever and turn myself into a trolley <laughs> yes it's okay I can carry all these things crash bang wallop right base coat just to even it out with the top like that Right, 30 seconds cure. Now then, what I want to do is when that's cured, is then buff it. But I can't do that until I've done the other. I'm counting here. Three nails. So we'll do that together. And uh, now we know what to do. So I've set up all that. 27, 28, 29, 30. Right. So the base coat will just even it all out. And before I put the top coat on, I'll do a little buff. Doesn't feel too bad. But I just like to make sure there's no bits. Look at that. Oh, I have to buff it. Let's see if it come off. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Right, do this one now. So, we have the pink. Let's put the pink up the top here and then it's lighter, isn't it? Put the pink 
mixing it together through those bristles. What I've left. Oh, don't pick that one. They're wearing out me. Right. Just pull a shape. Doesn't have to be a shape of anything. That's it. Yeah, I can see through it. Oh, it's a bit, uh, need a bit more base coat, I think, just to thin it, mainly here. That's it, just thin it out a bit. Do it by dragging up or pushing up, because that's going to be on there. That's better. Okay. that together let's have oh that went there before didn't it so it's come to the tip this time that's it let's just put a little bit more colour through that some rogue fern right now then I think Mr. Pink can have a bit of a half a heart sort of shape there, look. See now, the Valentine's coming up. There we go. That's it, check it in the lamp. I've got a bit on the back, so where's that bit we've already done? See there? Don't want that. That's it. Okay, right, wipe, that's quite pretty. Ombre mob effect going on there, isn't there? Right, so, look that. Who else did to do? I oh, did a lot of purple, red. So, take some of that. Hmm, does want to blob more. Because red's quite a strong colour, isn't it? Well, this one is anyway. Oh, you top coat. That's why they're colour coded, you know. Oh, is it really? Yes. There you go, look. Red, you can have your own bit of base coat. There we go. That's it. Mix it in a bit. Very pigmented that one. So now red can sort of go up to pink like that. Sort of an arrow type shape to point at the heart. Check there, that's it. Right, those are all right. We'll give it five seconds just to fix those so they can't wander off when we put the other colours close to it. Let's mix a bit more red. That's it. Mix a bit more red. So, come on, chop, chop. 30 seconds in the LED. I didn't see um, whether you can do these in the UV, it doesn't say, so I'm assuming you can, so it would normally have about two minutes in there. Right, now, I just want to put just a little bit on the edge there, so that they're not all pink and red. That's it. Now, because that slants down slightly just going to give that a little bit of a five second thing while I get rid of that on the brush that's it there we 
go. Right. Now then, oh, I think we'll go for this green. You see how that's bloomed out on the, the gel? Oh, that's got black in it. I wanted a vibrant colour. So I think I'll give them all their own blob. Some sort of get in a little pattern of my own, am I on here? That's it. They've all got the room then, haven't they? Right. Now, some green. Right. Let's just have. Come on, it's easy. Bit of green. Spread it like that. Oh, not all over your finger. There's no hope. Put that on there. Don't touch the other. Where's that other bit? I think I've thinned it just a little bit too much. You can see a colour through, but it's not. That perfect, really. That's better. Now then. So... Want to put that across there because we've got the blue and the purple to come. I don't want it to come up there like that. Blend it in with the pink. So we can just go in between. Them two. So we've got that. Just make that a bit better. That's it. Okay, cure five seconds while I clear my brush. There we go. That'll do. I've had ten seconds, but never mind. It'll do. Now then, now let's have a purple. I could use in blues then. Oh, it's like pinching your next door diner's cutlery in it. I'm getting funny looks. There we go. So, in that gap there. No, you don't have to do it with just paint. You can put, I suppose, you can put glitters in there and all sorts, couldn't you, really? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, there's a little gap there, look. That's it, at the top of the heart. So if I move that over a bit, Still got the heart shape. That little gap. Okay. Stop saying okay. It's annoying. Okay. <laughs> right. I think I might just do a sweep of blue. Sweep of blue. Right. Just a little sweep. And then 
Last, I'm going to have to pinch some of yours. That's it, because it's quite quite a lot of pigment in there, actually. But I'm creeping up the nail a bit more than what I'll, I had planned. But why not? I said not to plan much. If I plan something, something goes wrong, then you have to go and do something else. So, all the planning. Do you know what? I think I might go the full height on this one. I quite like it. I'm getting carried away, aren't I? So, it doesn't matter on this because you can't see through this bit. into that corner there. Okay, she's off again. I'll find another word. Somebody tell me another word for okay. Now then. Oh, now then. Let's have a bit of purple. Don't put your cuticle or your side wall. All the way across with that one, like that, and come down a bit. Cause you don't want it dark, because then it won't be the same as your mother's. Hmm. Get rid of that. Right. Let's see. I think pink, because that's more down the sides, isn't it? So let's have a nice bit of pink. Mix it in. So it... And then I think... I'm going to add the last bit. In green. No, that's not uh, sitting right, is it? Let's scoop a bit more, that's it. You see all the edges bleeding? So if you haven't got any blooming gel, use a coat of this coat. Now then, what did I say I was going to put up there? So a bit of green then. I think that would separate it from the Let's pop that. want to know. Come on. Get on there and behave yourself. Oh, I'm going over the blue. That way. That's it. That sort of went all the way across, didn't it? Oh, you mucky pup. You mucky pup. Let's uh, put that in. 
and a bit more pigment. I think that's it because right. now you've got to get that bit out of there without. Sitting anywhere. So don't upset it. It's a bit of that, but not a lot because I don't want it all flooding. Okay, 30 seconds. And done. So I think. There's such a lot on it. Let's just dab the. It's pretty good actually. It doesn't lose much. It's the red more than anything. That's it. So I think I still need to. Uh, Gentle pressure. Then you get thin lines rather than get big blobby ones. brush seems to know what you want to do before you do It's almost a heart as well, isn't it? Well, there you go. Hearts and flowers. It looks more like a woman's strawberry now, but never mind. It's a wonky heart. See, now it didn't set out to be a heart. It's okay, isn't it? Right. Right. Down there. Like that. Let's let go of some of that. Sort of going up towards the heel of the brush. down like that just put it across there a bit and chuck it into the cuticle why not the cuticle it's not a cuticle is it a sidewall there you go out the way let's just have a little bit that's it Want it to flow just a little bit better off the brush. Oop, sorry, I'm wandering off. There we go. Because I've always put some more on the top, and I've cured it to give it a bit of a. 
Rumpf. Ja, Rumpf. It's a bit psychedelic scented, I think, not a stained glass window. I should leave it like that and give it plenty. Okay, I think the, the colours are pretty much good. So let's just set these up a little bit darker. Contrast. That's better. And it frames the colours better as well. So remember that sort of a heart. Well, it is now anyway. That's better. Colourful just to cheer up. Really, you haven't even got some snow to get excited about. Our seasons are now just weather. What's the weather going to be now like in the winter? Look at your window and give it five minutes. That's what it's going to be like. There we go. And over. Let's put a bit more in that one. It. Um, press too hard there, but so could the person doing the leading on the stained glass window. There we go. Oh, I'm quite happy with that. It's a bit retro, isn't it? Clean my brush. Let's uh, come here. Take one of my, my tissues, as in the type that they use in the garage. Uh, that's it. Right, just right. Right, 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 right. Now I'll put you a top coat. Top coat, a top of a base. Never mind. A Korean base coat. Okay, like that. That just brings it up a bit. And I have noticed it's got a bit of a bump. That's probably not. It's not the um, paint. It's my heavy-handed filing, probably. Man about definitely gone that way instead of that way. Probably hungry. Yes. Put that in for thirty seconds. Give me a sort of done that now. So let's have a bit more of a wipe now because you can. Okay, there we go. Now I'll just Finish off these two and show you how I do it, and then I'll do the rest. And then we'll see what mood takes us. I think I'll show you how to finish it off. So, be back in a bit. Right, I've had a play. Oh, psychedelic or what? Now, I've put the base coat. On there just to smooth it out a little bit 
what I'm going to do, take the sticky inhibition layer off. Okay. And then I've got a 100-180 grip file. Okay. So on the smoother side, that's the 100, that's 180. I'm just going to go over it just to make sure there's no risk of chipping underneath there. It'll reshape it for me. Okay. Plus it'll also deepen the, the shine from the, for the top coat. So it's just a just to make sure, as you see, it's not exactly taking anything off, but it's just smoothing it out. Make sure there's nothing around the cuticle. It might have dribbled. Same here, underneath, down the sides. Just to make sure. I didn't do you underneath today. There's no lumps of paint anywhere. And that's it. So I don't want to take the colour off. But I do. That's bulked out there a little bit. Just gently. That's it. Just gently. And I, I ran out of ideas. But it's an idea in itself, I suppose. Just make sure... Have a, the 180 side, just a gentle rub. Right. They feel all right on my fingers, but just to make sure that's it. Tidy up just a tad. Okay. That's over there, out the way. I don't know what you're doing in there. Just push it over the bin. That's it, it's all right then. Right, quick wipe. That's it. It's just gone a bit dull. No. There we go. While that's drying, I'm just going to take my base coat. The other one's run out now, I think. I'll have to top them up again. I've already done that one. Just flick it underneath it on that there. Because you want it to catch the light underneath. Try not to touch the skin like I'm doing. There we go. That's it. Underneath we land upwards so that it cures. Because it won't go through all the the paint that we've put on. So, see you in a minute. Well, I'll see you in thirty seconds. Okay, that's cured underneath. So, let's see. This does just a little bit. Keep my fingers down, and it can't flood the cuticle or the. We all got a top like this somewhere. <laughs> Showing your age. Uh, 
30 seconds. 